So here are a couple things you should know before Tesla reports earnings tomorrow. What's going on team? It's Ricky with Tackle Solutions here with a quick little stock market update. I'm going to start sharing my screen. I chose to play it safe. I might end up regretting this, uh, but just like I tried to play it safe yesterday, I tried to play it safe today. I locked in profits. I reduced my position size. I had a little bit over 15,000 shares. Now I brought it down to 3,000 shares. Why? Why would I sell early? One of the things that I quickly want to make you guys aware of is on the one hour time frame, you can see it a little bit closer. We've been getting rejected right around this $28 range time after time after time. And leading into Tesla's earnings, I just want to make sure that again, I put myself in a position in which I can tolerate worst case scenario. Yes, I am choosing to play it safe for myself. You do not need to follow. If you want to approach it in an aggressive way, great, all power to you. I am not here to overwhelm you with my opinion. I just want to remind you that we've been selling off for the past seven months and that I could always just jump back in. But I don't want to regret not locking in profits early and then dragging and riding or really bag holding uh, the stock all the way right back down. So now that we're on this topic, let's go ahead and talk about Tesla. Tesla is going to be reporting earnings tomorrow, which is Wednesday, July 20th, after market closes. I will be live streaming that on my YouTube channel, so make sure that you subscribe and drop a thumbs up on this video. If you wanna make sure that you don't miss it, click the first link down below, join our free trading group chat, and I will send out, uh, send out the link uh, for that live stream there. So what are a couple of things to know about Tesla as we go into this earnings? And why is this different? One of the things that you should understand is Tesla for the first time in a long time announced its Q2 deliveries were down. They delivered 254,000 vehicles and this was down about 50,000 in comparison to the previous quarter. This is the first time in a while that Tesla's deliveries were down, but why? That's what I want to know. Why were they down? And this is what I found out. The Shanghai plant, which is considered um, the, their most productive factory for the manufacturing of their Teslas, was shut down because of COVID restrictions in China. And when that plant is shut down, and it's the most productive gigafactory that Tesla has, you could see why their deliveries were down and the wait periods were increased because they weren't able to deliver and fulfill because obviously their factory that is the most productive is or, or was um, out of working order. So what are these set expectations going into this Q2 earnings report? Well, their earnings per share is set at 1.91. Their revenue is expected to be right around 16.5 billion. One of the things that I want to remind you is that these are expectations. And yes, it is good to beat expectations, but it's not just when they report earnings or beat expectation that makes or breaks that stock. Its guidance is super important. Just like we've seen many other companies report positive earnings better than expected. Yet, when they report their guidance, meaning their forecast, for the up and coming quarters are not the best. Kind of like Apple announcing yesterday that it's going to slow down its hiring and cut its spending because they see a potential recession in the up and coming future. That forecast acted as a negative catalyst and tends to do more harm than good than the actual earnings report. So this is what you need to be paying close attention to as Tesla reports earnings tomorrow after market closes. If you have any questions about that, I hope that you know that you can always message me via Discord. It's free, it's the first link down below, and if there's anything that I can do to be a value for you, I hope that you know that I respond to all of my direct messages and I would love to be able to connect with you, but you need to message me, right? So again, that's that first link down below. I will be trading live. Again, I trade live with my Learn Plan Profit Group every single morning. Uh, we finally saw a nice little breakout with TQQQ. I decided to play it safe. I kept them up to date with my position, why I decided to lock in profits, but reminding them that just because I sell does not mean that they need to. One of the things that you'll learn about me is that 
My job is to look out for the beginner trader. It's to make you aware of specific levels that might be considered of higher risk. So if I were to show you that, hey, you know, you're a new trader, you're very happy that you're up on TQQQ, but maybe you're not aware that you might just be looking at the one minute time frame or the five minute time frame, and you might have not looked at the one hour time frame and seen that, hey, for the past month, We've been getting rejected at 28, 28, and we sell back down to 23 and 23 almost every single time. Even just a couple days ago, right? We were at 28 and we sold right back down to 25. How useful would it be to be aware of these levels? Not that you have to do anything, but just that you are aware so you can make a more informed either trade or investment decision. That's my job with my Learn Plan Profit Group. It's to make you aware of specific things that you might not be already aware of as you're a complete beginner and just getting started. My goal is always just to help you build that general foundation and understanding of the stock market. And not only do that, do we do that within the A to Z video lesson library, but that's our goal within our live trading sessions every single morning. So if you want to see if our Learn Plan Profit Group is a good fit for you, I encourage you to take one minute Click the second link down below, learn a little bit more about our Learn Plan Profit Group, what's included, and even get a breakdown of exactly a walkthrough of all the value pieces that we offer within Learn Plan Profit 2.0. Uh, also, friendly reminder, our Tech Buds staycation for every $1 you spend, it equals five automatic entries. We're selecting three different winners, and it's super simple to enter. Click the fourth link down below and head on over to shoptechbuds.com. And again, we're going to be selecting three winners. It ends on August 7th and you automatically get entered when you pick up any of your favorite items from our Shop TechBud store. These are the three days that we're going to you know, be hosting you guys. It's an all-inclusive staycation at one of our Airbnbs right next to the TechBuds HQ. This is day one, day two, day three. So if you've already entered, make sure you head on over to the site to see what's included. And or if you've been thinking about entering, then again, make sure that you see what's included on each and every single day. And then also make sure that you're going to be available from August 23rd to August 25th, because those are the three days of the TechBud stay. So again, if you've ever wanted a mouse pad, a mouse pad will earn you 150 automatic entries just to give you an idea of how simple it is to enter. I really do appreciate you guys' time. If you guys have any questions, do you guys know how to reach out to me? Hope that I earned a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing. I'll see you for our live session tomorrow. And like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy, team.